All right, so look, so here's number one from the SAT sample questions that your mom sent over to me. So if you see a question like this where you have to simplify, what you wanna do is, because you see the parentheses right there, you wanna get rid of the parentheses. The way you do that is by distributing, using the distributive property. So you do two times X, and you're gonna do two times negative seven. So write your equal sign, then you're gonna bring the 10 over. You don't do nothing with the 10 yet. So then you're gonna do plus two X and minus 14. Now, question, always make sure you know where everything comes from. Where did this two X come from? Doing two times X. Where did this minus 14 come from? Doing two times negative seven. This two, because it's next to the parentheses, gets multiplied by everything inside the parentheses. A lot of people forget to multiply by the second thing in the parentheses. Make sure you don't forget that. You got to give the two to the X. You got to give the two to the negative seven. Remember, it's called the distributive property. So you're giving something out and you got to be fair. You got to give this two to everything. Now, when you got this, the parentheses are gone. Now you want to look for like terms. So the like terms here is 10 and this negative 14. So 10 and negative 14, that's going to be 10 minus four. Actually, no, 10 minus 14, which is negative four. I'm going to write the x term first so that's going to be 2x minus 4 now you can't do 2x minus 4 and get um negative 2x because x and a constant are not like terms these are not like terms so you can't combine these using addition or subtraction you could multiply or divide them by each other but that's not what you're being told to do because of that minus sign in between all right so only thing you can combine is this 10 and this negative 14. all right the 10 and the negative 14 which simplifies to negative 4 the 2x was just there, kind of in the mix. So you just got 2x minus 4. And that would be the final answer to number 1.